Why, hello there, and welcome back to Blasphemous, where we are about 74-ish percent done, according to the so select screen. Oh yes, we've read that. Um, I don't know what day it is for you guys, but it's the 11th for me, so not really that far into... The game's launch. And I've spent most of the day uh, doing map related stuff. Because I realized I realized that the map was so expansive. Uh, this is the kind of map that I like to make maps for. So uh, I've spent most of the day editing together all the footage. And... Show up there. Yeah. Uh, edit uh, editing together all of the footage and... Uh, starting to put a map into some kind of... Ow. Into some kind of order. Obviously, I don't have most of the uh, the areas fully explored yet. Uh, which is why I've decided to play some more this evening. Because I quite like to uncover more areas. Um, but yeah, I mean... This is the map as it is so far. Um, I've been through and I've copy pasted all the areas into Photoshop. Doubled the size of them so that I can add things and details to it. And I've got an awful lot, an awful lot of scribbled notes. I'll, uh, I'll put a, a picture of it in its current state up just for you all to uh, look at. Because I do get asked uh, with some regularities like what... What do your maps look like as you are doing them? Now, the, I think there's going to be a gauntlet here. Yes. Oh, this guy again. Right. Uh, 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 uh. Concentrating. I want to get rid of the... Right. I watched back, obviously, the, uh, the footage of me facing off against this guy. And his amazing hitbox. And it's still... Still amazing. See? Come on, die already. There we go. Mark of the second refuge. So we've got... Oh, we've got an empty bar vessel as well. So we've got the mirrored mask of Dolphus. We've got... The Mark of the First Refuge. Mark of the Second Refuge. It's 
still don't know what to do with those dried flowers. Ah. Uh, I guess I can't get you to. No. At least we only need to defeat those uh, irritating enemies once. Crush you under my heel. Okay. So, can we give the mask? Yes. So, the mirrored mask of Dolphos goes on here as well. Where's that nearest? Actually, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference where our nearest save point is because the one that we came from is about in the same the same distance away uh, now the first time we came to this area we headed right here we got hit with a gauntlet which uh oh they take a, a bit more damage from the back i think Maybe. Now. Oh. oh. That is not the right button at all. Uh, do I have to use the red plat? No, the red platform isn't high enough. Ah, this is going to be... No, that's not going to be... Uh, is that apparently... That's an... Oh, that's not an invisible wall. It is a wall. Alright, this is foolish. Right, that's another one of those knots there. So th they're going to have to be climbable in some way, shape or form. But we certainly can't get up there yet. Either way, we've we've unlocked the door above us. Which is probably going to lead to another gauntlety section, I would think. Now, this bit here... Oh. Okay, yeah, we we died there last time. Aha. Wonderful. A prie dieu and a ladder that helps us climb down to between the bells uh the bells the sensors i really like how the map links up and another part what's this one going to be part of oils this heart is anointed with oils that inflame the soul Sacred Fury increases the strength of those who wield the sword while at the same time lowering their defense. So this is a, uh, I'm assuming, a fairly hefty damage buff. But turns us into the, the, the glassiest of cannons.
Oh, you have got quite some range. Uh, can I block? Thank you. Uh, one thing I noted, and I may have mentioned it actually in a video. When I've been talking about how the, the health bar uh, doesn't necessarily seem to shift when I'm using a flask, it's because it actually goes off so quickly uh, that by the time that my eyes have shifted up to it, I've already missed the animation. Which is a bit weird, but there we go. Right. We can now, I think, get to the right here. Yeah, so that gate's open. Nothing from you guys, but a little gauntlet of sorts anyway. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that, so I quickly pulled back. Um, and watch me fail to get up on it now. Right, I want to get rid of this first. Yeah, see, another knot. Don't know whether I'm going to be able to get up what I can. Not going to be able to get that thing, though. Uh, I can't make that, surely. Fail! Uh, yeah, I don't think... I'm going to try it, but I don't think I can make that. No. No. It's very finicky uh, about what. Yeah, it, it's these platforms are really finicky about where you can uh, leap on them. Oh, balls. No. Um, I... I'm going to come back to that room. Because I, I'm trying not to get particularly salty tonight. The, the, episode 9, was it, that I think I've done? Um, now can we go up more? Yes. Uh, episode 9 left me a little bit on the salty side. See, there's some more of those knots there. Uh Right. Another gauntlet? Yes. Oh joy. Nice, that took you out. I think this guy is immune to lightning, which kind of makes sense. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. See whether he's immune to this, though. Yes, apparently he is. So I think... I think we have to kill this guy...
Oof. You know what that was? Uh, that hitbox, please. Uh, sliding, thank you. It's tense. Nope. Oh, mark of the third refuge. So we've got three of these. Well, I don't think I've read them out. Sign a mark of the first refuge. Sign of protection that freed its bearer from pain. The wounds appeared in the flesh of their lady, who once swore to suffer instead of her wards. Mark of the second refuge. Sign of protection that protected its bearer from all harm. The pious lady of the perpetual agony locked herself in the great cathedral. Its walls a lightweight barrier compared to the constant pain that clouded her mind. Mark of the third refuge. Sign of protection that prevented the suffering of its bearer. The grievous lady was wrapped in crimson mantles, a symbol of her link to the flesh of her wards. I've got no, uh... Ah. So we have to get... Oh, he's back! Oh, shite. <laughs> Well, we needed to go and refresh our healing anyway. Um, Okie Koki. There we go. Uh, where's the lift then? Um, Ah, not this time. Right. I assume... Oh, I imagine those are bells to summon the lift, aren't they? Okay. Uh, so we need to go all the way up to the top to get our guilt back. I realized as I was editing together some of this stuff that I call it sin an awful lot. It's like it's been over a year since I played Unworthy. Um, which is why it was called sin. Oh, no, wait. Wrong level. I need to go up some more. Just pulled up short there, just in case it was going to topple me off the edge again. Yeah, I think those not things are there uh, to form bridges. Ah, well, you know what? Screw it. Can't be bothered to go back. At oh. I was going to say, I can't be bothered to go back out there, but actually, if there's a statue here a pre 
pre d pre pre dm pre oh. oh hello uh Ah, I think we must be closing in on whatever it is that gives us this not ability. Ah, well, that is very welcome. Uh, there isn't a bile vessel filler over here, is there? No, the, the nearest one to that is there. We don't have another rosary knot. But we do have a variety of other things. I wonder if these marks can be... You know that bowing statue that we found? That got three things at the bottom. Not a clue about those flowers, though. And don't know about the melted golden coins, either. But it might be worth checking. Uh, I think that's probably all of the uh, the teleport points we're going to get. It may be worth checking. I really must switch to the D-pad. In fact, I should probably switch to the uh, PlayStation controller. But if your penance hath sorrowful. No, nothing to give him. Um, it might be worth just checking if we can use any of these things in the the saltpeter sanctuary. I don't I don't know what this place is called. It looks like a frozen lake. A salt lake? Bring me anything. No. So the god of salt mm, doesn't need any of those things. Another thing. Uh, that I've just remembered. Somewhere down in the library, I think it was, there was a Clafager. And it may be worth... Oh, actually, it's the Molten Gold for this guy here. Find the next rem. No. <laughs> okay. So much mystery. Another thing that I need to go and check is whether... What's his face? The, the Bowing Pilgrim. Uh, right, to the library. I just want to go and check that Clavager. Um, I want to see if the, the Bowing Pilgrim has made his way to wherever it was that he needed to go. Uh, I think it was above us here. So we need... Nice. Well done there, Demo. You grabbed that. You muppet. You knew he was going to do that. And you did nothing. Well, that was... Whoa! That's going to come back and hit you. Yes. Ah! Right, yes. This, these were the chain books. And then over here... I don't know if he's still here. He is still here. I acquired some tears of atonement. Um, I, you have my gratitude. What did we? What did we fight in this area? Hold on, I've actually got my map open on the other screen. Um, I 
I guess it was the baby boss, which was down here. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we've got some tears from him. So that's more. Why could we not get across there? Oh, because we needed the knot. Again, I've, I've been noting down on the map um, what we need. So we need red sand platform, which we've got. But there's uh, one of those knot things that we need to get over there. Okay. That looks like there's something there. Right. Either way. He's done and dusted. Well, not dusted so much as done. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I really wish there was a way of sliding down ladders. It would be a most useful... There isn't a way of sliding down ladders that I... That's not sliding down ladders. No, there isn't. Um, right. Let's... To the Arch, Arch Cathedral? Yes. Right, so let's head down the middle of here then, I guess. Okay. So that's... Ah, this is a shortcut up and down. Oh, probably in the same tower that we've already... Yes. Right. Yes. I know where we are. I know what... what well, kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, right. So why could we not get through there before? Whoop. No. Oh. I thought that was going to... I'm impressed that I managed to do it again. Uh, I thought that was going to knock us down. Right. Down here. Yes. Uh-huh. A platform there. Ouch. But right, we want to keep on going down. Be nice if this. Oh, we could just leap. Um. Huh. Well, that's why we couldn't get down there before. It looks like we have to make something... Oh, no, wait. I'm looking at the wrong place on the map. Ignore me. Right, that's why we got down there. Ah, that's why we couldn't get up there, because we haven't unlocked the shortcuts. Hi, friend.
All right. Uh, no secrets there. Right to the right, there is a guilt shrine thing, which I'm actually going to use. How much is it going to cost me? Five hundred. Yeah, that's nothing. Saves me having to go all the way back up and fetch the. Uh... Oh. Oops. I think you can break the guilt statues. Uh, that is something that I'll do later. Up. Right, so this was the shortcuts. Don't really think we should have been able to hit that, but <laughs> let's heal, shall we? Right. Hi, friend. Uh... Those guys with the uh, the two-handed sensor mace thingies are very pokey indeed. I wish there was an easy way to easier way to kill those. Now. So where are we? Yes. When I walk by the chapel of the perpetual agony, I can never bring myself to enter it. She still screams in pain like the very first day they brought her here. A living miracle, they said. The miracle granted her wish, and now we pray to her, watching her endless ordeal. Right. That's lowered us a shortcut. Right. I've, I've got something in my head that I'm aiming for. That I vaguely recall seeing. Long. Uh, this is actually oh. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game I think it's over here. There's a, a little passage. Is it? I think it's up from here, actually. Yeah, there, where the sand is. Ah. 
Trapezoid of Jaeger, the jeweler. Ooh, there's a bile vessel thing over there. Oh, interesting. So the sand thing... You have to go a certain... You have to go a certain way. It, it's not just you, you land on whichever's closest. Right. Blood. Uh, refill empty billiard vessel in exchange for 1850. I think we can spare that. Plus, it gives us all of our health back. Okay. In that case, let's head down there. If we can. And over. Uh, yes, we want to go up here. <laughs> up and left. Oh, dear. Spear Pope. Oh, shoot. Let us uh, avoid you guys. Oh, this is the sensor room. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, you were lucky there, mate. Uh, that apparently hit me. It's uh, it's got some clip on. Right. Uh, yes, this was the room that we haven't been down in, and also we didn't re. We're going this way, then. Yeah. Well, down here, there's a... Trapezium of Jeremiah the Hangman. There's a shortcut... Down to where... Right. Yes. Uh, what's over here? Hello? Oh, behold, gracious lady, a visitor. Oh, please forgive me, penitent one. You stand in the presence of Sokoro, our pious lady of the perpetual agony. Isn't she majestic? She's a miracle in herself, unceasing, eternal. Ew. Make an offering. Mark of the first refuge. Ah! A tear has rolled off her cheek. Could it be that her torrent has diminished? Ah, poor lady. Make a second offering. Oh! Three penitents that communed with the miracle clamored for her refuge and protection. Those souls for which she suffered have already departed to the other side of the dream. Has the holy commandment of my lady finished? Penitent one, whom shall I watch over now? The lady, three penitents, those souls for as the holy penitent one.
Well, that's kind of weird. I wish I could get rid of this mouse cursor. There we go. Um, we didn't actually get anything for that, but maybe it's unlocked something elsewhere. Right, we went in here before. But we didn't get very far for whatever reason. Possibly something to do with Pope. Or maybe we were just really low on health and I backed out. Oh no, we got a uh, cluster uh, butted in the corner. Yeah, turn around. No? Okay. Oh, now you do it. Shite! Right, we desperately need Right, you're dealt with Right, let's uncover this corner of the map Uh, we're almost out of health again. What do you have to say? I've witnessed the exhumation of the Archbishop. I've witnessed how they cleansed his bones in wine to then dress him in silk and gold. I saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead. I watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kissed his hands. They lifted him up, calling his name and swayed him to make it look as if he was walking again. That is a lot of climbing. Just to read that. Either way. Aha. Uh -huh. A save spot. Flowers everywhere. Oh. It's going to be a boss up here. Now, is the boss through here? No, a mere culpa shrine is. So that's level five. Ooh, boomerang ranged attack. That's the only thing that's opened up with this. So we shall have that. Interesting. In that case, folks, next time I guess we're gonna we're gonna beat a boss. We're gonna try a boss. I couldn't. I wasn't sure which I was gonna say, so I tried to say both at the same time, because that that always works really well. That's been a quite a productive episode, I thought. Not much in the way of salt. The the hitbox on that spinny guy wasn't as bad this time around. I don't know. But either way, it looks like we're going to go and fight a boss that involves some kind of flowers or petals. We'll see how it goes next time. Thank you all very much for watching, and I shall catch you in that e next episode. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing? 
Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.